to organize things here so that things flow nicely is really really difficult because people are sick and tired of being told what to do this is it and we're making history and please do it right you know anyone out there that has had an attendees or comes in with you know um stuff that's not about us please leave they have schools they've got we had our own shops we had our own cafes but what I'm seeing now is one group has got all services, but the other, they've got none. We can't go to the barbers. There is no barbers for unvaccinated people. There is no cafes or restaurants for unvaccinated people, which really makes me, you know, sad. And I really hope that this will change. That's why I've also traveled from Reporoa where I live. The way that I saw the police the other day on Thursday, we went through the same with our Mugabe government. In the first world, they condemned our prime minister, the way he was treating his own people and they banned him traveling to New Zealand, to America, to Canada. I'm just wondering what's going to happen with everyone in sitting there. I don't blame the police. No. It's the order they've been given. But my question is, what's going to happen to all those politicians are they going to be banned to go to America like what they did to, to our African president, Mugabe? It really saddens me. I had my brother who was beaten up badly last year in June for breaking the so-called COVID restrictions.
this morning. Yes. 
sleep out of my eyes It's barely morning time And I was so damn moved by this group That I began to cry same thing and if we can just hold it together we're going to get through it yeah you know what i mean yeah. there's no way they can untangle this whole mess in here with a tow truck that's not going to happen the only way to do this is to talk get some people around the table and talk it's the only way to do it so that's what i really wanted to say friends in the UK who are watching this space right now and seeing all of the positive energy that this country is producing to push back against this entity that has got the world in its hands at the moment. Please keep this up. These are absolutely fantastic. And I'm so proud to have come here and actually seen what's happening. Thank you. Mate, can you?
kill real keys and cracks. Attack like the wicked on Friday day and chicken. Must have got me thinking, so I tied up in the kitchen. Now I'm rocking the low pro. That's my heat. I murk these cats when I put pets to sleep. A veterinarian, vegetarian, you know me. Give me no feet. Back in the day, Um, it's uh, an encouragement to hang in there for one more day because you, you don't know what's around the corner. that came in or their day trip like this is some kind of tourist attraction it's not that so if any of you guys are still here it's a protest we're here to drop these mandates so we can get back to doing what we love doing and so that we can protect our children I saw some alcohol and drugs and that makes me mad because the whole time we've been here we've been talking hard about not doing that so people have been bringing that in here, getting aggressive, which is not what this place has been for the last 12 days, I don't know, I lose count. So thank you for those peaceful warriors who've been holding this space so beautifully over the last 12 days. And I feel very sure that we can return to that, that energy. And we're hoping that we can shift it back this afternoon and I can already see that happening. So thank you for those of you who are still here holding that space. And uh, please, for those of you coming in, respect our people in the middle of the night. Please, it's not a time to be playing drums and partying and drinking hard and yelling at these guys who have been there to watch over us this entire time. We need to send them love and we need to be peaceful. We need to let our babies and their mamas and their whanos sleep. Okay, definitely, mate.